Dip the test in the collected urine sample, being careful not to go past the max line on the test. For demonstration purposes, we're using a laboratory urine vial, but you can use any clean container in your home. A Dixie cup works fine. The test instructions indicate that you should hold the test in the urine sample for about 10 seconds. Our personal preference, however, is to hold it in the sample until you see the dye begin traveling up the test. That usually happens within 10 seconds. At this point, you can lay the test on any flat surface. For display purposes, we're keeping the test pointed at the camera. After 10 minutes, interpret the results. Note that we've compressed the 10 minute time period into just a few seconds for the purposes of the video. With an ovulation test, unlike a pregnancy test, you compare the intensity of the test line to the intensity of the control line. If the test line is as dark or darker than the control line, that indicates a positive result, and you will probably ovulate within the next 24 to 48 hours. If the test line is less dark than the control line, or if it can't be seen at all, that indicates a negative result. Here's an example of a positive result. Note that the test line is darker than the control line. Here's an example of a negative result. Note that only the control line is visible and no test line can be seen.